Think cruises are just about relaxing by the pool? Well, think again. So let's dive into some of the weirdest, most unexpected activities that you can find on the high seas. Ice bars. Believe it or not, ice bars. Enjoy a drink in sub-zero temperatures. You're provided with thermal coats and gloves. And yes, it's literally a bar made of ice. I think the average temperature in the place is zero degrees. That blew my mind the first time I saw that because you're in the Caribbean and it's 80 degrees and sunny and I see people walking around you know a particular area with I don't want to say fur maybe it's faux fur but fur coats on and hats and I'm like okay it's but it's an experience go-kart racing yes go-kart racing on board a ship multi-level racetracks on the upper deck of the ship you can compete with friends and family for the best lap times it's a lot of fun it was weird when i saw it on a cruise ship i don't think of you know go-kart racing on a ship so it was, it was interesting escape rooms we just did our first escape room a couple weeks ago absolutely loved it immersive themed rooms with puzzles and clues the teams must solve the mystery to escape the room within the timeline. <laughs> They're enjoyable. I'm not hooked on them, but yeah, it, it's definitely enjoyable. It's worth experiencing. Skydiving simulators. This one was cool. So you experience free fall indoors. Basically, it's a wind tunnel, so it's safe, but it is thrilling, and you feel like you're skydiving without having to worry about if that parachute's going to open or not. So up next, I'm going to reveal a heart-pounding activity that takes you up into the air in a way you've never experienced before on a cruise. Rope courses and zip lines. Yes, zip lines on a cruise ship. I know it's not not new. It's been around for, I want to say, at least a decade, but I just thought it was it was so cool. you literally zip lining above, I believe it, it's Central Park, right? Or is it the, the boardwalk? It doesn't matter. You're zip lining over parts of the ship. I just thought it was so cool. <laughs> Robot bartenders. Yes, certain Royal Caribbean ships, they have robot bartenders. You put in your drink order on a, you know, uh, on an app or on a, a, like an iPad, and then you get to watch this robot arm grab a glass, grab, you know, ice, and then, you know, each of the boozes, mix it up, and then serve it to you. Really cool. I've actually kind of heard rumors that Royal Caribbean is thinking about doing away with them on future ships because it's a novelty and, you know, people usually come and check it out. They stay for a drink and then they leave. It's just, oh, that's cool. And then you go on to the rest of your day. Virtual reality experiences. This is pretty cool. They got VR games and rides. Uh, that, so you're like totally immersed in, in a whole new world. Anything from outer space to under the sea to ancient ruins. Some of the, the games, the experiences, for lack of a better word, are really amazing. Definitely worth checking out. Now, coming up, we're going to find out how cruisers can explore fascinating underwater environments without getting wet. Here we are. Submarine excursion. Explore marine life on a mini submarine ride with windows and views to experience what the life is like under the water without getting wet. I like snorkeling. I like seeing, you know, life underwater, which is so vastly different from ours. But at the same time, you know what? Being in an air-conditioned sub and not having to worry about swimming and just sitting there enjoying the ride. That's also fun. Different, but fun. You know, Zorbing at sea. Yes, Zorbing. Z-O-R-B. ING. Giant inflatable balls for bouncing on the water. It's a sport. It's different. It's fun, but it's different. Ice skating rinks. Yes, ice skating in the middle of the ocean. Royal Caribbean, I believe it's still only Royal Caribbean. Certain ships have ice skating rinks and they have professional shows in the evening where you can watch, you know, professionals ice skate and there's a theme and a storyline. And during a lot of the sea days, you can actually go ice skating yourself. So, if you love to ice skate or if you just wanted to give it a try, you can go down to deck four, I believe it's usually on. Tie on a pair of ice skates and give it a whirl. Circus shows and trapeze lessons. Yes, trapeze lessons. So first, yes, you can watch death-defying shows, you know, where, where professionals, they bounce and they jump and they dive and they do all the twirls and, and spins and everything. But a lot of times, you can actually give it a try yourself. There's professional guidance. There are instructors there and they've got you tied with safety straps and harnesses and stuff. So you don't have to worry about dying. I'd like to check that out. I don't know if, you know, my six foot three, you know, 200 and however many pounds would be good at it, but I'd like to give it a try. Thanks for diving into the bazaar with me. Next, discover how you can cruise for free. There are nine ways to get that free dream cruise, which could be just a click away.